What are drawing and sheet seeds? So drawing and sheet seeds will determine what properties are applied to the drawing and sheet models. Uh, you select them when making name boundaries, and I kind of glossed over it earlier because uh, I, I knew we'd be talking about it here. Um, but first thing I want to point out is the names that you see here. These are actually pulled from the saved view in your sheet seeds. And we'll, we'll, we'll take a look at um, saved views here real quick. Um, it may take a minute for the sheet seed to open, so I'll go ahead and get that process started. Uh, I will take a look at just an example. Plan and profile sheet definitions, 40 scale. While that is loading, let's kind of look at something else over here. This is the default path up here that is just delivered open roads. This is where you can find all of the sheet seeds. And the one I'm opening here, I think it was, yeah, it's up here at the top. Plan and profile, 40 scale. So as soon as we can jump over into it, I'll show you, we'll immediately pull up the Save Views dialog, and I'll show you where these names are getting populated from. And you can set, uh, change those names in the save, Saved View dialog. There we go. I'll immediately... So yeah, here's here's our... So the, the drawing of sheet seeds, really all they are for is just each one may only have, you know, a couple of drawing or sheet models. They may have a bunch. Usually it depends on what the company itself wants to do. You have options as far as separating everything or throwing everything together in one sheet seed. Um, we'll go ahead and take a look at the saved views. I think by default, for the most part, these are going to be the same. The model names and the save view names will be very similar. But you could change these to be whatever you wanted. Make it more clear. And so the last thing I want us to do is to go cut cross-section name boundaries and take one final look at everything I kind of previously glossed over because I wanted to introduce all these other topics to you before we took a, a deeper look at it. So I'll go ahead and close out here. Go back to my other instance of open roads. I will go ahead for cross sections. You will need your 3D model up as well. So I will go ahead. All I'm doing here is holding down right click or alternate click, whatever it is for you. Going to view control, views plan 3D. All right, so we have my 3D model and plan together. I'll go back up here to name boundary. And as you can see here, we took a look at that plan and profile seed. Here is one of the um, the drawing seeds that popped up. If I had changed the name, this would have changed as well. But if you do change names, you may need to completely reload open roads. So it, it, up, or it uh, loads those new changes to the workspace. But anyways, uh, not to get off topic, I'll go to Civil Cross Section. We'll start this time by choosing our drawing seed. I'll just do the top one. Detail scale, I'm fine with 1 to 10. Name, I'll just do example. Start location. So, down here our prompt says identify path element. I will... Go ahead and choose our alignment again. And I will do start. I will actually only go, I'm going to do 100 for the interval. I will only go to about 500. So here we go. 
I'm fine with all these other settings. I think most of these, yeah, most of these were in profile as well. I'll keep create drawing on. And I'll go ahead and accept. Got our create drawing dialog. I am fine with everything. You can select your annotation group here. That was one of the things I skipped over. You can confirm your drawing seat up here. I'm fine with cross-section grid with annotation. I'm fine with everything else as we see it. Go ahead and hit OK. And while it's generating, I will, I guess, make my final comments about drawing and sheet seeds. Um, I said they determine what properties will be applied to the drawing and sheet models. And the reason I wanted to go over all these other things first before addressing them is those are all things you can set in your drawing and sheet seeds. So if you, you'll notice when I selected the drawing seed, options down here will change based off whatever drawing seed you picked. So the interval changed just then, the frame annotation, spacings I think just changed. Now a lot of the delivered ones aren't drastically different from each other, um, but with with this you can easily have all these different settings uh, and if they do need to drastically differ you can easily have them preset with your drawing seeds. So I'll go back to this. Here is our sheet model. We have three of the cross sections I cut. That means there should most likely be two sheets, which there are, and then there should be, I'll go ahead and open the dialog or the model dialog. It'll be easier to sort through. So we got our sheet for cross sections down here, and we've got our drawing models for each of them. And it automatically annotated based off of the annotation group I chose. So we have cross slopes and we have labels as well as the grid. So hopefully everything we just went through kind of gave you an idea of what an example workflow looks like for drawing production. This was a very simplified workflow, but you can do much more complex things once you get comfortable with how everything works. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.